Hi team, welcome to your abs, funds, and guns series. So for today, you, all you need is a pair of dumbbells, maybe two sets, keeping it relatively light. Um, you can go a little bit heavier when we come to the upper body, but when we're utilizing the dumbbells with our leg series, just keep it really light. So it's kind of just um, an added bonus to make it a little bit more challenging. Um, and as, as always, you don't necessarily even need weights to take this class. If you have ankle weights and you want to wear them, you're going to pop them on and leave them on the whole class. Unless you start to feel some tugging, some pulling in your knees, your hips, your lower back, and then just take them off. You can do this whole class really without any ankle weights or any dumbbells. Um, and we're looking to explore that range of motion and really challenge our patterns and our habits and see where we can make changes and where it's time to level up and try something new. So we're gonna get started. On our back, Pilates stance. We'll just warm up the core, warm up the spine. Feet are flat on the floor, hip width distance, slightly forward of the knees. Arms relax down by the sides, and then reach your fingertips long so you feel the back and the lats engage. Take an inhale through the nose. As you exhale out through the mouth, tilt your pelvis, and then slowly peel your hips up off the floor. You're coming into your bridge, inhale at the top. Exhale, roll down, upper back, mid back, lower back, and then the hips touch and they just come back to neutral. Inhale, exhale, tilt, curl, peel, lift, squeeze through the inner thighs. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll down. So we're starting to engage the pelvic floor, those deep abdominal muscles, and you should feel that as you squeeze through the inner thighs, but leaving the legs, the knees on railroad tracks, so they stay hip width distance. Last one, engaging the core, articulating the spine. Inhale at the top, exhale to roll all the way down. From here, just extend both legs long, hands go behind your head, elbows wide, right leg only, inhale. Exhale, head and shoulders lift, right leg pulls into tabletop. Advance, you're gonna leave the leg in a hover on the extension. Modification, let the leg rest down and touch the floor. Reset every time. Advance, you leave it lifted and you're just extending, using those lower abs to draw the right knee in on top of the hip, maybe even a little bit closer to the upper body. Head and shoulders are lifting at the same time, and you're trying to get both shoulder blades off the floor. And you may feel like this is a movement pattern that you've been in that you've done before, just lifting the head and shoulders or even the leg extension. But see if you can find something new in the way that you approach your movement. Last five, four, three, two, right to the other side, right leg goes down, left leg come up. Inhale, extend, exhale, lift. So bringing awareness to different areas of the body, different functions, maybe it's the leg, maybe it's the core, maybe it's really pressing and stamping the lower back down into the floor. Maybe it's getting the head and shoulders lifted higher and feeling the connection of your breath, your core to your movement. About 10 seconds left. We've got a nice little warm up on core. We got our legs. Five, four, three, two, last one. Let the right leg drop. Just walk both feet in. Palms come back on the floor. Hips lift. Find your bridge first. Now send the right leg up towards the ceiling. You're going to lower the right leg. Brush and lift. Now you can stay here or start to add the hips down and up. As the hips lower, the leg brushes down. As the hips lift, the leg brushes up. Advance, you're gonna lift your supporting leg. The heel comes off the floor. So now you're just using the ball of the foot. Spread the toes wide, press down to lift. And then keep the shoulders away from the ears. You can press the forearms, the palms, or even the elbows into the floor. For 10. Nine, eight, seven, big movement, lengthen the leg, anchor the hips, five, four, three, two, last one, hips up and hold, dip, down and up, tiny little pulse, press through the foot, can be flat, drive it down, or ball the foot, you're squeezing, engaging, left side, hamstrings, glutes, for a ten, nine, toes up, eight, Seven, six, five, core tight, four, three, two, drop your hips. Keep the right leg where it is, hands behind your head, inhale. Exhale, lift and curl, find your C curve. Keep the left leg bent, like a little seesaw. It's a toe tap on the left leg. 
as the right leg extends. You're trying to anchor hips down, press low back, and then pull the abs in and up. Tuck them underneath the ribs. Lift the shoulder blades higher, and left toes, just little tap. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, elbows wide. Last 10. Eight, stabilize, pelvis, legs are moving. Five, four, three, two, last one. Keep the right leg up, lower your life, left foot, and then cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Arms down, hips go back up, you open to the side, cross, down, lift, open, close. Lower the hips, and because you're in a figure four, essentially, externally rotated just on the right side. Your pelvis might get a little wonky. Your hips might feel like one side's higher than the other. You gotta work to even it out. So even though you might notice it's happening, you have to actively work to not let that happen and adjust and come into the right position. 20 seconds. Down, squeeze, butt tight at the top. You can drive the elbows into the floor, about 45 degrees extended out from the body, fist to the ceiling. That's gonna help engage the core even more. Five, four, three, two, last one, up and hold, extend the leg to the side, tiny little circles for five, four on the angle, three, two, reverse, five, four, not long, three, two, one, release. Hug the knees into the chest, just a quick squeeze. Now open your legs into a straddle. Does not need to be like super wide, maybe it's just a V shape. Right arm only, left hand behind the head, inhale, exhale, lift. And you're driving the right arm through the legs, holding the legs stable, so you're gonna have to squeeze through the inner thighs. Now you can stay here, or we're gonna add on and work the right leg as well. So I'm gonna lift for one, then as I lower, close the legs, fold to your left, and the right leg does a little bend and extend, développé. So go straddle reach, roll to the left, and then almost like a clam, I have to open the knee to the ceiling, extend, toes to the ceiling, bend, close. And we'll be here for a while, just so you can start to get in into the body. We'll take it slow. But once you have it, you can pick up the pace. Now what you're looking to do with this back arm, you have to pick the elbow up off the floor and then place it down. So you're gonna pull the upper part of the body back so that your body's in one line and it's stacked. If you just roll to the side, you'll end up just falling onto the left shoulder and not being on the elbow. Reach, close, pull back, close, reach. Extend. You can even leave the right leg as it is, or maybe you extend forward. 15 seconds. I know it's a little bit more complicated, but again, we're recognizing the change in the patterns, in the habits, and we're ready to level it up. Five, four, three, two, last one. Finish on your back. Extend your left leg up to the ceiling, arms down on the flat foot or on the ball of the foot, heel up. Level one, just the left leg down and up. A little brush, option to add. Hips down and up. As the hips go low, you have to keep your right heel super, super high and squeeze your right butt cheek, hamstrings. So I want you to imagine, it's like you have high heel stilettos on, that heel is not gonna drop to the floor. For 10, we're working stability and strengthen the ankle, which you might seem like, why? Why would we do that? Well, for all your other classes where, where, you're, where you're doing plyometrics, where you're jumping, rolling through the feet, you have to have stability in the ankles. Three, two, last one, up and hold. Just little pulses at the top. Send the toes to the ceiling. We're not here long. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We lock into core in 3, 
two, one, lower the hips, keep the left leg where it is, hands go back behind the head, elbows wide, inhale, exhale, lift and curl, left leg lowers, right knee comes up. So it's kind of like counterbalancing the weight. As the left leg goes down, the right leg comes in, so it becomes easier to hold the left leg in that extended position. 20 seconds to go. Can you quiet down your hips? Just move the legs. Maybe lift the head and shoulders a tiny, tiny bit higher for 10. The answer is yes, you can. So if you ask the question, the answer is always yes, you can. Just that little bit more. Three, two, last one. Right leg down, left ankle cross over right thigh. Lift, open, close, lower, drive up. Right foot is flat this time. Root down, ground down through all four corners of the foot. Inner, outer edges, press. That's gonna help drive the hips up, stabilize. We're almost there, team. Lift, open. Left knee stays out to the side, not to the ceiling. You might just leave it there. Maybe you don't do the extension. Maybe you do. We got five, four, three, two. Last one, you know it's coming, hips up, hold. Extend the left leg, hold it there or tiny little circles. Just five, four, three, two, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Woo, quick squeeze, hug the knees in. We go back to our straddle, to our V this time. Left arm, head and shoulders lift. You're extending the left arm fully behind you as you lower, lift and reach. You feel the stretch through the inner thighs. You're still active through the legs. Now you can stay here or you're adding on. Pull, reach, roll this time to your right. Pull the right elbow back, knee to the ceiling, toes to the ceiling. Knee to the ceiling, close. I'm gonna go a little bit slower on this one. Legs close, fold. Keep pulling your left elbow back when you roll to the right side. 30 seconds. And again, modification. Maybe you just roll to the side. Maybe there's no kick. Maybe you extend the left leg forward. You got options, but only 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Cross the ankles, grab the backs of the thighs. You got three rock and rolls on your third one. We're coming forward all fours. Leg series, it's time. It's time for legs and butt. Left forearm is down. Just make sure your light set of dumbbells, splitting top of the mat.